It's pouring rain, it's cold, and we're gonna sleep in a tent in the back of our truck. This is not my idea. Right now, it's the last official week of winter, and despite a heavy rainfall warning, we're out here driving down the Chehalis Forest Service Road, looking for a spot where we can camp tonight. We're ready for another adventure. an amazing spot with the best view. We're gonna start unpacking and setting up right away though because it doesn't look like the rain is gonna let up anytime soon. We're in Chehalis again, and this is actually the same place we came to camp in our little car last fall. If you want to watch us all cram into the back of a Toyota Matrix, click the video link in the description below. This time though, we did get a bit of an upgrade. We have a tent now that fits right into the back of our truck bed, so we're hoping this will be a little bit roomier than last time. I'm gonna show you guys a little tour of our home in the woods. We come on into a little spot here, right off the Forest Service Road. That's our truck. We have a tent that goes into the back of the truck bed, and we have some tarps over top. We thought about bringing the canopy because it's raining pretty hard. We didn't, wish I did, it would have made my life a lot easier. The tarp setup is not ideal, but it's gonna have to do tonight. So I'm crouched down here because the tarps are quite low. I couldn't get up high enough. I don't have anything to stand on to connect it to this tree. This is inside of the tent. We have a light bulb connected to a USB outlet on our Jackery 500, which is working really well. It's not drawing a lot of power. It is only pulling three watts. We have an actual mattress under here. It's about four inches, five inches thick, a black sheet, sleeping bag, and a blanket. It is March, it's raining, we're in BC. How are we gonna stay warm all night? I figured that out. So we got the portable Mr. Buddy heater. We uh, are gonna be connecting a propane tank to it and running it all night. We'll crack a window. I have a portable carbon monoxide alarm. It's got the tip over function, it's got the auto shut off. I'm feeling pretty confident that uh, we'll be safe and it should keep us really warm. We were actually a bit worried that if we brought an air mattress, uh, the dogs might pop it. So we actually bought a foldable mattress. So it folds into three sections. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is super comfy. We got these lights off of Amazon. They were about $20, I think. And it has a touch button that if you hold it, it'll dim the light actually. Ooh, pretty fancy for a tent. I don't know about you guys, but Life's been kind of stressful. Just coming out here is a nice stress relief and really makes me happy. Even though we got up here really late and we're going home early tomorrow, I think Jake is so excited just to... <laughs> He's yelling in the background. I think Jake is just so excited to be out in the middle of nowhere with no one bothering him. This is just a nice little break for him. It's so quiet. There's nobody around here, which is really, really nice. That's kind of what we like looking for. And I'm sure a lot of other people out there like looking for is just a quiet spot where you can't see or hear anyone else. <laughs> this is what it looks like around us. So there's our little truck over there. And it's just in the middle of the woods. The view here is actually really, really, really beautiful and a little scary. Hey Joe, I'm a little walking buddy here. <laughs> it's basically a view of the entire canyon here in the river below. So you see the big mountains up there and of course it's misty and gray today with the rain. And then that's, I think, the Chehalis River. And this is where it drops off <laughs> and it goes all the way down to the river. 
Okay, hey, you're making me scared. Come on, let's go back. Oh, you got a ball. I'm that was your ball. <laughs> Ready? It's getting dark and it's starting to rain a lot. So I think we're gonna go back in the truck and just maybe watch an episode of something and then wait till we get hungry, make some food and then go to bed. You ready to come in? Yep. <laughs> Start with low. Let's see if that gets warm enough for us. We watched a couple episodes of Kim's Convenience on the laptop, and it wasn't fully charged when we brought it out here. But we can actually plug this straight into the Jackery and charge it up. It is amazing. We went out and bought some uh, instant food that you take backpacking, like MRE style. And that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So all I gotta do is boil some water and then add it to the pouch and dinner's made. We've never done this before, so hopefully it turns out good. We have a Mexican style veggie bowl. This is by Alpine Air Foods. We also got mountain chili. And then for dessert, we grabbed the creme brulee. They're not super cheap, but in terms of convenience, this is all we need for dinner and dessert. And all I gotta do is boil water. Simple. So, what do you think so far? Everything you dreamed of? It's just like so cold and you no know, part of it is the rain. The rain if it sucks. wasn't raining, it would be like three times better. Mm hmm I agree. So I think we're gonna reserve the tent camping for warmer weather. You wanna get a canopy? I want the trailer. I don't want the <laughs> canopy. We'll go in the trailer soon. Getting ready to go camping in it in two weeks. Two weeks. We're headed out. Finally. Breaker in for the year. Oh. I don't know where you put the cutlery. In the bin. You said in the, the bin, so I put it in the bin. I tore open the bin. It was the bin that was outside of the trailer. On the ground. The one that goes back in the trailer? No, I thought you took that out of the trip. Are you serious? Oh my, oh my god. god. Whoops. Okay, I found a Tim Horton spoon from Soup to Tina Had. You're welcome. Says the one who put the cutlery in the wrong video. You said, he said, he said, I said, oh my gosh, okay. I'm so so there flustered. Were multiple bins, why wouldn't you just ask? <laughs> Remove oxygen absorber, okay. Oxygen absorber. Oh, there's the oxygen absorber. Prepare in pouch or other suitable container. We will prepare in pouch. Add two cups of boiling water. That's gotta be two cups, right? And I'm spilling water everywhere. We're gonna mix it up real good. And then you seal 10 to 12 minutes. There we go. Now I'm gonna stand and pull. Ooh. Being a scary, ghost? But I am excited. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Food Reviews with Jake. Ooh. 10 out of 10. Doesn't that look good? Wow, can I smell? Yeah, it smells good. I think it was like regular 15 bucks. We got it for 10 because it was on sale. Damn, it's like a Chipotle burrito bowl. <gasps> That's what I compare it to. Can I have a bite? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It slaps, like for just add water. Wow. That's so good. So I'm gonna eat mine. And then she didn't wait up first. Mine sounds really good too. It's got pinto beans, corn, mushrooms. Mm, I love mushrooms. Oh, I think that's probably enough already. And we're gonna seal it up. So we will set a timer. And bon appetit very soon. Oh, it's good. Let me try and bait. Tastes very similar to yours, eh? That's good. Yep, here's what it looks like. Chili.
This is very good. I like it. Joey, Charlie, <laughs> Backpackers Pantry, Creme Brulee. I just want for you. I just want for you. Uh oh. Leave it. I don't know how much um, three quarters of a cup. Stir briskly for 90 seconds. Get count to 90. One, two, three. All right, we're gonna seal it up for 10 minutes. Mmm, the sugar is really good. Mmm, I love dessert. Hey, slow. Dunkaroos. I don't know if it's just a Canadian thing, but in Canada, when I was in elementary school, you get your lunch and then you get a pack of Dunkaroos. It's like a dessert thing. You take the little cookies and dip them in the icing. That's a good story, Grandpa. So how do you do your Dunkaroos? You're amazing. Why don't you still make them? <laughs> We're gonna start getting ready for bed. We're gonna brush our teeth first. A nice heater. It's so hot in here that we have to open all of the windows in this tent. And then when we turn it off, it gets cold pretty quickly. So there's no in between with this heater, but I'd rather have it than not have it for sure. I think tonight when we sleep, we'll leave it on low and we'll just crack open all the windows. Hello, Joe. All right, well, good night, everyone. Good night. Go turn off these lights. It's uh, three in the morning. I got up to the heater being off and it also being boiling, so. I put another propane tank on. I'm gonna close all the windows and crank the heat up. Then I'm gonna turn the heater off and we're gonna see how we do with no heater. Just uh, curl up in the blankets, see if we sleep better. I made a no. That was actually a really long night. It was too hot with the heater. So I'd wake up, turn the heater off, and then about half an hour later, it'd be too cold. And then I would turn the heater back on and it would be the cycle throughout the entire night. Time to pack up. I really, really wish it wasn't raining for all this though. Then I look down the woody road. It said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. I know you've got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other way. I should have kept my boots inside the tempter truck. <laughs> They're a little bit wet and a little bit dirty, so oh, I'm trying to warm them up in front of the heater. I'm so dumb. I literally, I, I bent over this way across to get my coffee and I smelled something burning and I burned, I singed my hair from the heater. I don't think I even touched the heater. Oh, it smells bad. Oh, it's all melted. Gross. Look at that. Ew, it's all singed. Maybe I should cut my hair. Go ahead. Everything's all ready to go. Jake's taking a little break. <laughs> so all in all, it was, it was okay. It was fun, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was really wet. It was warm and cold at night. 
I think if it wasn't raining and it was more summertime, we would have had a really good experience. But if you can get a canopy over a tent, I would recommend that. The tent, the thing is you can take the tent out. The canopy you'd have to leave on your truck most of the time. I think it's a bit of work to, to take it off. The tent itself was really nice. That's the Napier truck tent. Yeah. We'll link it in the description in case you are interested. This definitely isn't the one and only time we're going to take the tent out camping. Yeah. I think we're going to do it again in the summer Yeah. because it's really nice to have, like we have our luxury trailer, which is really nice and I love it so much, but it can't go to all these like hidden places down on the forest service roads, all those roads that you can't really drive a trailer down. And when people tell us about those deep backcountry areas with the beautiful lakes and stuff that our trailer can't go, I still want to go. Yeah. I still want to go camp there for a night. So this allows us to do that. Mm -hmm. Just next time we won't go in the rain. Yes, yeah. agreed. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye. Not ideal, but it's gonna have to do tonight. Um... He's my best friend right here.